footage that you're going to see now is from yesterday. There's something major that's going on in my life right now. In addition to the family, let's call it that. Last week, I... We saw a cat that was outside. Like, we've seen him for quite a while, but he comes in and he loves cuddles and everything. And then he wanders off and does his thing. He's on like a street near ours, like the street opposite. And he basically has been abandoned. The pretty much the owners don't really care for him anymore. They've got dogs and they just chucked him out and never let him in the house and everything. So on this Sunday, he decided to come into the house when it was pissing it down, and we've shut the door and we've kept him in never since. So he seems to be warming to us. He's been given the name Ginge, but until a later date, we can't really think of another name for him. We'll call him Ginger. I don't know, maybe, but Ginge for now. And he's the so cute. He was very wary of the house at first, he didn't know what was going on, especially where he's munch. But they don't claw each other or anything, they don't fight, no. There's no bitch fights going on in the morning or like in the middle of the night. They, they're sometimes a bit wary of each other. Munch was a bit weird with us for a few days, a bit distant. He loves his food, he's turning into Munch because the other day, I'm not kidding you right, as soon as he, he knew that he could get fed, and he's been eating quite a bit. He nicked my steak pie that I had the other day. He ate the whole lot, not the whole. <laughs> he ate half of To be honest, if I was a cat, I'd do the same. <clears throat> we're taking him to the vet tomorrow because we pretty much need to get him. I don't know if he's been vaccinated properly. I know he might have had the snip. We don't know if he's male or female. Hey everybody, and say hello to Ginge. Yeah, just tired, yeah. That's me all over. So majestic, just lounging about. Yeah, the definition of me. What do you make to the camera? Who? What do you think? You're not impressed, are you? No, don't give me that look. The look as if what the fuck are you doing? Are you looking at me like that for? Are you looking at me like that? Don't. Oh. Oh. What do you think? Keep staring at me, what's wrong? Are you trying to pat the camera? Oh, you keep yawning, don't you? Are you tired? Oh, he's very tired. He doesn't like being picked up much. He doesn't claw you, he just wriggles. <laughs> One thing that is annoying, because sometimes if he's trying to get comfy on you, he, he walks on it all the time, I'm like a magnet. Because obviously I'm the definition of pussy magnet. So he decides to sit on me, and then he'll get his claw, and you know when they press to, go, to ground themselves and to grip into the into the uh, material, they catch it. Oh, he always tries to walk on me and tries to catch it on my skin, and it's like ow, ow, ow. It doesn't leave a mark, but it digs in it. It's like fucking painful. That's a little issue we've got with him. But it, another issue is the fact that, well, he likes to claw the sofa time at times. And he uses it when he jumps up because he's not really good at jumping on things because, well, he's been outside a lot. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? What do you think? You're not impressed, are you? About this? You want to look at Love a little chin rub. He's a ginger tabby. I think he was about one year old. Roughly. Roughly one year old. I do not like the camera. Well, can't say I didn't try. Ginger has just jumped up on this piece of furniture and I need to see what it is pronto. What are you doing up there? Don't, don't just look at me. What are you doing on the unit? You know you're not allowed up there. You're eating my meat again. That's the remnants of the steak pie the other night by the way. Where are you off to? Honestly, before we got a collar on him, you never knew, you didn't know where he was going. Like, I'm being serious. Like, should have called him Houdini. And then on the first night, well, yeah, then on the first night, because of the uh, 
water incident, we had to strip the bath panels back and he ended up going underneath and in on the floorboards for the whole night. And then he came back in the morning so we've had to keep the bathroom door shut ever since. But he knows he shouldn't be doing it. Honestly. Ooh, I'm only giving you a stroke. Don't get funny with me. I suppose it's only fair to show to show the other kitty the limelight as well. You've seen him before, but here is Munch on his chair, which he knows he shouldn't be in. Hello. Oh, don't get funny with me as well. Don't get arsy with me. You might be getting on a bit, but bloody hell. So that's the way it is. They sure told me. <laughs> told me where I stand in the scheme of things. I was probably not trying to attack me in the middle of the night. So, ow, so they can claim the house as theirs. And then just devour my dead corpse in the middle of the night into pieces. <gasps> Binge, that's my plate. She was sure at first it was male, but she got a second inspection from another vet who confirmed it to be female. And she's weird because it, it's fluffy, but it's quite big for a cat that's female. Not being stereotypical, but in the animal kingdom, that is usually the case in the majority of gingers. Ginger cats are male. There's only one in four that are female. And it's looking that way, but we can't get closer inspection until we get consent from the original owner because we need to consent from the original owner to, you know, for us to <coughs> get the vaccinations and check if it's been neutered. Well, it could still be a male, but the way it's been neutered looks like a female. It could be a female, or it could be a hermaphrodite, transsexual, who knows. <coughs> well, it's not had any psychosexual behaviour or anything, but... Gonna call it ginger for now until we get consent. Well, anyway, it does make sense that she's, she's female because Munch is fine with her, and usually, if it's a male and a male, they're usually territorial, but it's not territorial with ginger. And ginger comes up more for hugs, she's more close and everything, so. It does fit. I just hope she's not pregnant. Oh my god. She's having kittens. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I am shooketh. What? It's very rare. And very special. 